Cake, and welcome back to Saturday Night Horror. Uh, it's been quite a while since we've done an episode of this. Um, it's been a few months, actually, and um, I'm really excited to be doing this again. I miss doing this. Uh, hopefully, uh, we can continue making this weekly thing again. But yeah, <clears throat> Saturday Night Horror is back tonight, and I figured, since we're coming back, what better way to start the comeback than with my favorite horror movie of all time, Friday the 13th Part 8. Jason takes Manhattan now. Now hold on, hold on before you before you click off. I know a lot of you are thinking that's crazy, but hear me out. This is the first horror movie I've ever seen. The first horror movie I ever watched. Um, this got me into horror movies. This made me a fan of horror movies. A lot of people don't like it. Um, I love it, man. Uh, I think it's a really fun movie. Um, it was originally supposed to be a. Uh, the last in the Friday the Thirteenth franchise, uh, Jason Voorhees was supposed to be killed off. He was supposed to be no more after this movie. Uh, of course, we know that didn't happen. A lot of people don't like this movie because it's called Jason Takes Manhattan, but about maybe 25, 30 minutes of the movie is in Man actually in Manhattan. Um, reason for that is budgets. Uh, they didn't have the budget to film as long as they wanted to in Manhattan. Uh, they didn't have the budget to do what they wanted to in New York. Um, they said they wanted to have Jason on top of the uh, Statue of Liberty. Couldn't do it. They wanted to have him fight one of the main characters in Madison Square Garden. Couldn't do it because of the budget. Um, it's unfortunate, man. Uh, it would have it would been awesome to see most of the movie take place in New York. But, none, I mean, nonetheless, I still think it's a fun movie. Um begins on a cruise ship. You got a, a graduating high school class. They're going on a cruise to New York. Uh, Jason gets on board and all hell breaks loose. Um, I mean, imagine that though. You're in a cramped ship. I mean, these little hallways, cramped corridors, and you're being stopped by Jason Voorhees. There's only one thing I can think of that's scarier than that. It's every day, bro, with the Disney Channel flow. Five mil on YouTube in six months. Never done before. Now that's scary, folks. <laughs> anyway, um, for those of you who are new to Saturday Night Horror, basically, um, every Saturday night, I watch horror movies and I cook a meal. Um, most of the time I cook. <laughs> so. I want to say a little over a year ago I decided why not make it into a series called Saturday Night Horror. Uh, what you'll see in this is um, a little intro telling you what movie I'm going to be watching, a little bit about it. And then you'll see me in the kitchen cooking my meal for the night. And then I'll watch the movie and what you'll see is me giving my thoughts about the movie at the end. So, yeah, um, I won't cook every week. Uh, you know, some weeks I just don't feel like cooking, but this is the comeback episode, so I'll be in the kitchen. Uh, Tonight I'm going to make homemade lasagna. Haven't had it in quite a while. And I'm going to do mine a little different though. Um, I'm not putting any ricotta cheese in it at all. I'm not a fan of ricotta cheese. I think it's absolutely disgusting. So I'm keeping it out of the lasagna. So what? <laughs> now that being said, let's go ahead and go to the kitchen. Uh, let's get this lasagna started. And once we're done cooking, I'll watch the movie. And then I'll come back and tell you what I thought about it. But um, yeah, man. Uh. I can't wait. Friday the 13th, Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan, my favorite horror movie of all time. Can't wait to watch it. But first, let's go in the kitchen. Let's get something to eat. Alright everyone, here's our ingredients for our homemade lasagna. It looks like a lot, but really, it's not too bad. Of course, for meat sauce, you got to have your hamburger. We've got crushed tomatoes, tomato sauce. We're going to put in a little bit of salt. Of course, our lasagna noodles, two cans of tomato paste, and our seasonings, you know, Italian seasoning, basil leaves, parsley flakes, black pepper, of course, mozzarella cheese, and two minced cloves of garlic. I have real small garlic cloves. Uh, it doesn't look like a lot, but trust me, it packs a punch. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to cook this meat in the pan here. Got the pan heating up, so let's get to it. Alright, we started our meat, um, and you know me, I have to chop the meat the majority of the time I'm cooking it, because I like my meat to be in small pieces. No, I don't like real huge chunks of meat, uh, it's got to be as small as possible for me, so I'll be chopping this the majority of the time it's cooking. Alright, 
All right, our mate is browned. It's good to go. Look at that. We're going to add our tomato sauce, our paste, and our crushed tomatoes. But first, I <laughs> almost forgot, we got to put in our two minced cloves of garlic. So we're going to put that in there and just mix it up. And you can actually smell that garlic just that little bit. The smell is is filling the room. Like I said, it's just, it looks like a little bit of garlic, but it packs a punch, man. It definitely packs a punch. So we're just going to get this all mixed up and that's going to do it. Now we're going to add our tomato sauce. Uh, let's go for it. Alright, first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our crushed tomatoes. Yeah, I know my hand's in the way, my arm is in the way, sorry about that. <laughs> I also want to take this time to thank my brother for fixing my tripod. I finally get to use it. Uh, one of the legs wasn't coming out all the way, so he was nice enough to fix it for me. Uh, unfortunately, my arm is in the way. <laughs> I'll do better next time, I promise. Yeah, now we're going to put in our tomato sauce, as so. And all that's left for the tomato products is our two cans of tomato paste. Uh, these take a while to get out, man. They're so thick. You basically have to scoop them out with a spoon, like I'm doing now. Yeah, look at that mess. <laughs> well, eventually it'll all come out. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Alright, one more to go. Let's see if we can get most of it out. Yeah, we got most of it out. That's good. So, not too much to scoop out. All right. All right, that's it for our tomato products. We're going to add our seasoning. First Italian seasoning. All right, now we're going to add our basil. Well, this is the basil. Black pepper was before. Sorry about that. <laughs> this is our basil. And two tablespoons of parsley. Now, that's a lot, but it is definitely worth it. Trust me. And we're going to put some sugar in there. And some salt. There we go. Two tablespoons of salt. And we're just going to mix this all up. Now, if you're wondering why I put sugar in there, the sugar takes away from the acidity of the tomatoes. Um, if you didn't put sugar in there, it'd be kind of real tangy. Uh, it wouldn't be very good. So, trust me, the sugar is definitely needed. And we're just going to mix this all up. And just take a minute or two, get it all nice and combined, if you will. If you will, Dusty Roads. <laughs> well, yeah, this smells awesome, too. And like I said, no ricotta cheese at all in this lasagna. Um, ricotta cheese is absolutely disgusting to me, so I'm going to leave it out. We're just going to have mozzarella cheese and this meat sauce here. Just got a little mix a little bit more and then it'll be done. Man, that smells good. Now we also added half a cup of water to this. I forgot to mention that at the beginning. After we put in our seasonings, I did put in half a cup of water. Alright, I think that's done, man. Yeah, that's done. We're going to put that to the side and we're going to cook our lasagna noodles. Look at that. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Alright, we're going to cook our lasagna noodles. I'm going to bring this water to a boil. Put a little bit of salt in there. By a little bit. I mean a lot. 
I honestly don't know why I put salt in the water. I always do. Now that sounds weird, but it works. <laughs> and we're just going to bring this to a boil, and when it boils, we'll start cooking our lasagna noodles. Alright, water is boiling. We're good to go. So I'm going to put these noodles in. And if that's not enough, I'll make some more. Uh, it's been so long since I made this, I don't know. I can't remember how many noodles I needed. And see, immediately they're going limp, which is good. Just kind of slowly guide them under the boiling water. Now I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit, just so the boiling water doesn't splash out and burn me. Uh, I don't want to look like Dark Man. <laughs> oh, Dark Man, I haven't watched that in years. Good Lord. Alright, uh, we're just going to cook these for a few minutes. Uh, I'm not going to film the whole cooking process. That'd be bored. That'd be boring as hell, so... We're going to cook these, and we'll be right back. Alright, everyone, uh, I think these noodles are about done. Oh yeah, they're good to go. So what I'm going to do is put these in a strainer. Uh, rinse them off with some cold water so I can handle them. And we're going to do the last, uh, last of the steps. Alright, I've already pre-greased this pan with some cooking spray. Basically, I'm going to lay the lasagna noodles down in this pan. Cold with meat sauce. Repeat. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and assemble this lasagna. Be right back. Alright, there she is. The finished, almost finished product. Now what I'm going to have to do with this is I'm going to cover this with tin foil, aluminum foil, excuse me. Cook it in a 375 degree oven for 25 minutes. And then we're going to uncover it, and here we go. Now after I cooked it for 25 minutes, covered in foil, I uncovered it, cooked it for another 25 minutes, and here we go. Look at that. That is beautiful. That smells so good. I can't wait to start eating this. I'm going to get a Dr. Pepper, and it'll be movie time. All right, I've got our food, got my drink. Uh, fortunately, it is a room temperature Dr. Pepper. I'm still on my chemo treatment for a few more days anyway, so I got to drink room temperature stuff. But it's all right because we got Friday the 13th, Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. We've got our food, we've got our drink, we've got our movie. I'll watch this, and I'll be back to tell you what I thought. I know I'm going to enjoy it, man. <laughs> I mean, I'll just tell you right now, I'm going to enjoy it. Alright everyone, so it's been about an hour and 45 minutes, um, I finished watching the movie, I still enjoy it, I always will, I don't think I'll ever get tired of Jason Takes Manhattan. Um, as I said before in the beginning of the video, it's just a fun movie to me, it's, it's just, it's just so much fun, it's, it's, it's one of those movies that's so ridiculous that it's funny. <laughs> uh, once again, you know, Jason gets resurrected by ridiculous means, <laughs> um, and he starts his killing spree now. He gets resurrected, kills these two poor unfortunate souls on their private boat, which I don't know how it got in the middle of the lake, but hey, we'll go with it. Um, he ends up on a cruise ship with the high school graduating class. Never really explains or shows how he found the cruise ship or how he got there. He just pops in in the water beneath the cruise ship and climbs aboard. Um... Like I said, um, it, it's just funny to me how no one on the cruise ship notices big Jason Voorhees walking around. You know, he got a six foot whatever dude with his flesh hanging off his bones with a hockey mask, and no one seems to notice him until it's too late. So <laughs> that's always funny to me. But uh, like I say, he uh, he goes on a killing spree on the boat. Uh, and eventually, he kills the captain of the ship. Uh, they get stuck in a storm, have to abandon ship, and. You know, the few survivors actually make their way to Manhattan. And so does Jason, which, um, again, it doesn't show how he got to Manhattan or how he knew how to find Manhattan. Uh, apparently, he, Jason can swim. Uh, he has a thing about water in all the other movies, but apparently he swims in this one. And at the end, still has a fear of water, so go figure. <laughs> but anyway, Jason makes his way to Manhattan, and he's still chasing the group of survivors from the boat. So, uh... You know how that goes. A lot of people get in his way. Uh, unfortunately, they meet their end. But I thought it was a good movie overall. Um, 
like I said, they had a, they had much bigger plans for it. They wanted to do more scenes in New York, wanted to have Jason do more things in New York, and I really wish it would have worked out because that would have been awesome. Um, the favorite part of my, my favorite part of the movie is near the end where he actually gets to New York because it's just it's really cool to see him in a different setting. You know, he's always been at Camp Crystal Lake or you know in the woods, campground things like that. But to see him actually go into a different environment this time, the city, it's I liked it, man. It was a change of pace. It was change of scenery. It was awesome. I don't know, like I said, I just wish we could have seen more. But um, yeah, overall, I enjoy uh, Jason Takes Manhattan. As I said at the beginning of the video, my favorite horror movie of all time. It always will be. Uh, it has a special place in my heart. It's what got me into horror. So um, I definitely enjoyed it. A lot of people don't. That's fine. You know, you're entitled to your own opinion. But if you've never seen it before, check it out. It's a fun movie. Uh, yeah, with that being said, um, I guess we're going to wrap this up. I thought I was going to have a whole lot more to say about it. But, you know, it's just fun. Check it out. <laughs> Oh, this was fun to do, man. Uh, the comeback episode of Saturday Night Horror. I miss doing this. I'm going to try to make this a weekly episode series again, like it was when I first started. Uh, next week, I plan on doing Abominable. It's uh, one of the few good Sasquatch movies out there, so I'll be doing that next weekend. Uh, that'll be hopefully uploaded within the next couple days after next Saturday. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, this is it. This is the comeback episode. Uh, next week will be abominable. Don't know what I'm going to be cooking. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. And I just want to say uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for uh, supporting the channel. And thank you for everyone that's giving me well wishes and words of encouragement. Um, you know, I've had some health issues the past six months. Uh, it's documented on my channel. I'm not going to get into it here. But for everyone that's been telling me, no, good luck. You can do it. I appreciate it. I really do. So that being said, guys, we're going to wrap this up. Uh, we're going to have a little slideshow here, different scenes from the movie, some music. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out Jason uh, Takes Manhattan. Please, do yourself a favor. If you don't like it, you don't like it, but I love it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>
It's a simple world, but it's all they know. Just gotta see it through.